Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today we're going to be making the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar and it's going to be a video that shows young children how to make a caterpillar in very simple directions, step by step. So this video is made for kids three, four, five, and possibly even six years old. Does anybody know who this is? Who is he? Let me know. Hungry, hungry caterpillar. We're gonna be making a hungry caterpillar today. So we're gonna start off with very simple instructions and this is going to be for young children, three, four, five years old. So we're gonna do it very simply, step by step. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe. Our first step, if you look at the caterpillar, we need to leave a little bit of room for his head here. So we're gonna come off the side and we're gonna start, so that's jumping over a little bit and then we're gonna do the two circles for the eyes. We're gonna do that first. So we're coming to the edge of our page. So we go top, bottom, find the edge. And we're just gonna jump over a little bit. That, that way we have room for his big, long body. Look at how long the body is. It goes across the whole page. So now let's do that. Jump over from the middle of the edge of the page two circles. Look at that, it's almost as big as my fingernail. One circle. And to do the circle, we put our pen or a pencil on the paper and we go down and around. It's almost like the letter C and then we come back up. We curve it back up. So now we have two circles. And Hungry Hungry Caterpillar had little circles inside. Now Hungry Hungry Caterpillar was so hungry he had a pretty big mouth to eat all those leaves. So let's make a big mouth. So we're gonna first start off with a straight line going horizontal under his eyes. I start from one side near the eye and I go to the other. It's a straight line. Now we're gonna make his mouth big and open. So I'm starting at the edge of his mouth and I'm gonna go down and up. Oh, it's a big smiley face. Now we're gonna make a circle around the whole thing for a head. See how the circle goes around? But the circle is close to the eyes and mouth. Look at that. It goes around the mouth. So we start at the top. I'm gonna to do a straight line. And when I draw things close to something, I call it hugging. So the line is gonna hug, meaning right next to the eyes. It's gonna come down and go under the mouth. See, my line is under the mouth. Then I'm gonna come around right next to the other eye and up to the line. So now that made a nice big circular head. Now we're going to do the rest of his body. So we're gonna come out, find the middle of the head. We're gonna come out. And on the edge of his head, down here at the bottom, we're gonna go out. So a straight line. This one's down diagonal. This is out horizontal. And now we're just gonna connect it with a curve. Curve it and connect. That's gonna form one section of his body. We're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna go up and down. Down diagonal, up diagonal. Then we're gonna curve around. I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna come, not at the top now, we don't want them getting bigger. I'm gonna come out, come up from the top here, down, curve around. It's gonna be a pattern. We're gonna do the same thing. Not at the top, but we come a little bit down from this curve, out, and the same thing here. I'm not coming down here. I'm coming up from the side. And then I'm gonna connect. 
And then I'm gonna do the same. And see how it forms the pattern? You want these to be the same size almost, as much as you can. Diagonal, I don't do it from here. I bring it up and go diagonal down. Then I'm gonna curve round. And let's do one more, a little bit smaller. That'll be the end of him. Now we're gonna do two antennas. These are those lines that come out from the top of his head. I'm gonna come up pretty long, over, and I'm gonna go back down to meet the, the line where I started. See how it's wider here and closer. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Up, over a little bit. I kinda went down diagonal, didn't I? It's not exactly a straight line. And then back down. So now we have the antennas, his body. Now let's get some legs. And Hungry Hungry Caterpillar had two legs on the front, two on the back. So we're gonna go down, down, connect, down, down, connect. And on this side, down, down, connect. Down, down, connect. So now we have the legs. We have the legs of the hungry, hungry caterpillar. Now, if you wanna add an extra set of legs, you can. Just so he has six legs. It didn't show it in the video, but we can put six. I think because the legs on the other side didn't show, but I kind of like having six legs for the insect. Now we're gonna go ahead and put these little hairs on his back. And I do them diagonal, diagonal, out, 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 out. I go up and out to the left, up and out to the right. And now I have my hungry, hungry, Caterpillar. Now I have my hungry, hungry caterpillar. We can even add the sun or the moon from the story. We can do a little letter U, a big letter U. Then I do two dots and I put a line, a curve line on the top of each dot. And just like we did the head, I start at the top and hug all of my shapes. That means my line is going next to everything I drew. So I didn't make a big circle, did I? It was a small circle close to the face. <laughs> now that would be a moon, or you can make the sun's rays coming out if you want to make the sun. And you can draw at the bottom, look what I did. On your own, draw some of the things that the hungry, hungry caterpillar ate in the story. And then, if you wanna put in the cocoon or the chrysalis, you can. Would you like to make that now? We're gonna make a line coming out for a leaf. And then I draw back. You wanna make some leaves. And then I go around and around the leaf. And our chrysalis, let's make a line, come back, go around and around. And if you wanna make the chrysalis right here, I make a letter V. And then I do an N, and I put a U at the bottom. And then I just put some little grooves, little lines inside. And there you have the chrysalis. Chrysalis or cocoon. The hungry caterpillar ate a lot of things. I think he even ate salami, cake, 
I have oranges and apples and ice cream and watermelon. But from the story, remember all the things he ate. I was so surprised at all the things he ate. You have fun finishing your Hungry Caterpillar. And go ahead and let me know how yours came out in the comments. I'm gonna show you now what my friends did today. And I have some little caterpillars that my friends made today. And I'm seeing some ice cream down at the bottom and some apples. Oh, a nice sun here. Wow, this one has a lot of fur coming up his back and on his feet. We've got a nice, happy, smiling sun with a big, big ice cream cone. And there we have our last one. So thank you all for sharing your pictures with my friends, and I hope you had fun making your hungry, hungry caterpillar.